It's a really interesting question. Can you prove that in a triangle, the square of length of angular bisector is given by a times b minus m times n, where a and b, these are the side lengths which are containing the given angle, and m and n are the lengths in which the opposite side is getting divided by this angular bisector. Let's check proof of it. Let's check this really interesting solution. Let's start by drawing a circumcircle to this triangle ABC and extend AD to meet this circle at point E. Let's assume DE length is Y centimeter. With respect to circle, we have got these two chords which are intersecting at point D. Applying power of point theorem, we'll get X times of Y is M times of N. Let's do one more construction, join CE here. Now this angle B here, let's assume it is alpha degree. Now using same segment theorem, that is this chord AC, if it's subtending angle alpha at point B, then in the remaining part of the segment, it will subtend same angle. That is AC chord at point E will subtend same angle alpha degree. Now if you look at this yellow triangle and this pink triangle here, both the triangles have got theta and alpha as two of the angles. By angle-angle similarity, we can say that this green triangle is similar to this pink triangle. As the triangles are similar, thus the ratio of corresponding sides will be equal. So we have got here AB upon AD. That will be equal to AE upon AC. Putting the values here, we get A upon X is X plus Y upon B. Now cross multiplying it, we'll get AB is equals to X times of X plus Y. RHS opening the bracket, we'll get AB is X square plus X plus X times Y. But from our first observation, X times Y is nothing but M times of N. So putting it here, we'll get AB is X square plus MN or X square is AB minus MN. And that's what we had to prove, hence proved. I hope you enjoyed the solution. I will see you in next video. Till then, tata, bye bye.